Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Widgets and Wonders. This is my show about great products from small companies. Now today, we're gonna look at something really neat called, I'm gonna butcher this pronunciation, Calcio Storico, which is a real life game played in Florence um, and may be an early descendant of modern football or soccer. Um, and the game itself, if you want to see a real life game of Blood Bowl, it's effectively a real life play game of Blood Bowl. It's still played every year in Florence um, in, a, in a huge main square there. And the prize that the players win if they win uh, used to be a type of cow, but now is a free dinner. And the guys on the other side earn nothing. Now the history of this game, um, it was often called, uh, what was it The King Henry III said, it was called uh, too small to be a war and too cruel to be a game, um, is, is effectively a match of Blood Bowl. It's played for 50 minutes only um, and it's played to the most points. Uh, you earn a point, there's a goal that runs all the way along the end of the field by kicking a ball or getting a ball by any means necessary, but usually by kicking, um, into the other opponent's goal. Uh, but if you do kick it, no matter what, if you score or not, you have to shoot accurately because the opponent earns a half point. So you could run it in and they get nothing, but if you kick it in, you're getting a point, but you're giving up a half point as well. Um, fascinating game, real life. I'm going to link the Wikipedia entry to it in the video description below. But what I'm going to show you today is a board game version of it made by um, the guys that made the same resin blood bowl pitch you've seen in the past, which is Castle Arts from Italy. It's a beautiful uh, set of miniatures. This is made with a ton of love, obviously, for the game and a ton of love for other games like Blood Bowl. Um, so this is mostly an unboxing. You're going to see the components. I've built the pitch, um, but the, compo the rest of the components are unpainted right now. And in the future, you'll see me and Owen actually try this game out. Um, I'm also going to put a link to the video description below where you can get yourselves a copy of this um, and you can see if you want to play a real historic version of Blood Bowl, uh, a way that you can get your hands on a copy of Calcio Storico. So here it is, the Castle Arts Calcio Storico. Now this is the box that comes in and you can see here the pitch. Now the game is played on a field that is twice as long as it is wide, so usually 40 by 80 meters. Um, and either end of the field, you'll see here, there is a little tent and the opposing captains actually sit in this tent and organize the players while they play the game. Um, the game itself has 27 players uh, on each side, uh, and it's made up of 15 forwards, five halfbacks, uh, five fo sorry, three fullbacks, and four goalkeepers. So the goalkeepers will basically sit along this line back here, halfbacks, and sorry, fullbacks, halfbacks, and then 15 guys along the front lines. Now, when the 15 minutes starts, the guys on the front line, the, all the forwards, basically just start fighting. There's no rules as to how they do it. They start fighting to try and punch a hole in the enemy lines and get the ball by any means necessary, which is thrown in and signaled by the firing of a cannon um, onto the pitch. Now, every time a goal is scored, the opponents will switch sides. So the teams will literally switch sides of the fields and it'll start all over again. And it goes for 50 minutes without stopping. Um, and the guys with the most uh, points at the end win. You score a point, like I said, by getting the ball by any means necessary into the opponent's goal end. So the goal section at the end of the, uh, the pitch. Um, which will be back here, or kicking it into the net. Now there's actually a physical net that I'll be, when you see this playing this, you'll see it's actually up like this. But if you miss a kick, you give that half point to your opponent. So um, if, the, if it goes wide or it goes over the net during the, um, the kick, you give your opponent a half, a half point back. So it's very risky to kick and obviously it encourages you by any means necessary running into the, uh, the opponent's end zone. Now you've been given your 27 players for each side here. Uh, they're in 20 mil, cast in uh, beautiful white metal um, and easily painted up. Now they are, they are designed to be differentiated between your different positions. So you've got your halfbacks, your fullbacks, and your captain and stuff like that, um, as well as your forwards and your um, goalies. Uh, so you can see here, I think it's actually done like this. So you've got your 15, your five, your four uh, goalies, and then your three um, halfbacks, uh, sorry, fullbacks rather. Uh, and each team you can just paint up different colors. We're gonna throw some paints on them before we actually play so you can see it done. The pitch itself is in fabric, um, all gridded out for your movements. Uh, and you've got some flags for either goal end. Uh, you've got some uh, little arms here to actually hold the mesh for the, um, the goal line onto. So you can actually have a 3D board. Uh, and then you've got some other measuring devices. This is like your random scatterer, much like you would have in Blood Bowl, a range ruler, uh, dice, your ball, and all the other important sort of features here. Um, the ball itself actually has a little ring to carry it in. 
Um, and then you got your rules, which are available in Italian and also in English. Um, and of course, some instructions on building all the components that come in the box. Really neat. I'm really excited to try this out because it, it's amazing to me that there's something as close to Blood Bowl in history, in real life, um, after I did a little bit of research on it, that, that, that actually existed. People played this game and they actually still play it every year in Florence. Um, it just took place, I believe. Uh, and if you are in Florence as a tourist, it's a huge attraction. This game that happens once a year, basically and all kinds of um, professional league football, which of course North Americans is soccer, um, players will try and compete to take part in this game uh, and try and actually be a part of this just sort of tradition. There's no pay, there's nothing, it's just for the glory of having won um, and a free dinner if you're on the team that wins. And it, it sounds like the most violent, crazy sport ever and a huge amount of fun. So uh, big thanks to the guys at Castworks for letting us check out this copy. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the components. Um, I would encourage you all to go and check out um, the link that I put in the video description below to just read up on the history of it because it's one of those like facts are stranger than fiction thing. Like you can't make this up. This is all real and really, really interesting. Um, and you'll see um, us playing at the co-op in the future once I get the components put together and painted. Uh, so thanks for um, for having a look at this because I, I love history and I love it when there's something in history that's like something else I love. So you have it, a look at Calcio Storico from Castle Arts. Um, obviously made with a ton of love for both board games, um, classic games like Blood Bowl, and of course history, because you're looking at a piece of history here, a game that's actually played, um, it had a modern revival, it's played every year in Florence, um, and has obviously a huge amount of um, significance for the creator. So I encourage you to go get a look, read up on the history, check it out. If you're a fan of Blood Bowl, this is a, just a really neat piece of history that you can even play in your home. So thanks for watching. Now, if you do know of a great product from a small company, you can have email me at girlmitchgames at gmail.com or Facebook message me at facebook.com slash out of the basement in the streets. We'll see you next time for the Widgets and Wonders. Till then, Ash. Have a good day.